Hey, what's up guys? My name's Josue. Welcome back to La Vida Josue. So today we're making a dish that's probably going to be one of the most easiest dishes I think I've ever made on this channel. So if you've recently gained interest in the kitchen, then this recipe is going to be for you because it's the easiest thing in the world. It's baked barbecue chicken. How hard does that sound? I'm going to show you guys how to make it right now. So stick around and watch this video. All right, so step number one is we're gonna get some chicken, okay? So here in this bowl, I have some chicken thighs and some drumsticks that I've already washed very thoroughly and I've already peeled the skin off. When I'm making barbecue chicken, I don't like to keep the skin on and that's just some of the water from when I washed it, by the way. But if you wanna keep the skin on, it's perfectly fine. Like I said, this is my personal preference. So, you know, it's however you wanna make it. For mine, I don't like to keep the skin on for this kind of chicken, so I do take it off. I'm working with about four drumsticks and four chicken thighs. So the first thing that we need to do with barbecue chicken is we need to season this chicken. It's not just chicken and barbecue sauce that's gonna bake. We are gonna still season this up and then we're gonna go ahead and put the barbecue sauce in later. All right, so the first thing we're gonna start off is a little bit of garlic powder or a decent amount, I guess. Next, we're gonna get some paprika going, some minced garlic, whoa. Some Goya seasoning. If you don't know what this is, you can find this in the grocery store in the Latin American aisle or the Latino aisle. Uh, it's the Goya uh, adobo seasoning. So if you've never used this before, you are missing out. So make sure you get this because this will add loads of flavor into your chicken. Sprinkle that up in there. Next, we're gonna add a dash of cayenne pepper. I like mine spicy, so I throw a little bit of extra heat in there. Next, some black pepper. And last but not least, we're gonna add some salt. I know what you're thinking, wow, there's a little bit of salt for all that chicken. Well, there's already salt in the Goya seasoning, so we're not gonna add that much because we don't want it to be too salty. And I know this might actually seem like a lot of seasoning, but I actually have a pretty decent amount of chicken that I'm working with. So we're about to mix all this up so it can incorporate into every single piece. So I got these tongs here, so I'm gonna use these tongs to mix up the chicken here and that water actually kind of helps make a marinade at the bottom keep mixing this up I've already used my hands to wash it I really don't want to get my hands on the raw chicken anymore so I'm just using the tongs to mix it up and you just want to keep mixing it up until all those seasonings are well incorporated into each piece of chicken so as you can see each piece of chicken here is oh that one needs a little bit more so it already smells super good because of the spice blend so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer this chicken into a, a baking dish I'm using this glass baking pan that I've already greased so as you can see if you have Pam or like a nonstick spray, you can use that. I didn't have any, so what I did is I just took a little bit of olive oil, poured it into the pan, took a paper towel, and just kind of spread it evenly throughout the pan. Honestly, I hope this is even big enough for all the chicken. So let's go ahead and put the chicken in here real quick. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start with the thighs. So I'm just gonna kind of put these off to the side. Hold on a second, I'm gonna have to play a Tetris with this, with this chicken. All right, so I really had to stuff the chicken in here so it could all fit. The good thing is that chicken kind of shrinks when it cooks, so hopefully after a little bit of time in the oven, I'll have a little bit more room, but I was able to squeeze all the chicken in here. So now it's time to put it in the oven. So I've preheated the oven to 350 degrees. Uh, so this chicken is gonna bake for about an hour. Honestly, maybe even a little bit longer than that because there is so much chicken in this pan. But usually I do it at 350 degrees for an hour, half an hour uncovered. We take it out, put the barbecue sauce on the chicken, put foil on it, it, we cover it up put it back in the oven for another 30 minutes again it may be a little bit longer so we're gonna go ahead and start the first half now hey Google set a timer for 30 minutes okay 30 minutes starting now oh future oh looks like 30 minutes is up hey Google stop All right, so the chicken is out of the oven and so you can see it is kind of bleeding in some parts. You can see that it's already starting to cook. It's of course not done whatsoever. That's all right, nothing to worry about that. We're gonna lay down the barbecue sauce and then this also gives us a chance to flip the chicken over, coat it in that barbecue sauce and then we're gonna put it back into the oven. I know that the blood might freak you out. If you're vegan, you might wanna look away or turn this off, but hey, it's meat, it bleeds. It's what happens. It's not gonna kill you. I'm sure you've eaten worse things. All right, let's put the barbecue sauce on this chicken. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is the easiest recipe in the world. I'm using just regular old bottled barbecue sauce. Yes, you can make it yourself. Yes, you can use any kind of barbecue sauce. 
Zena? That was Zena. Yes, you can use any barbecue sauce that you'd like. I'm using plain old original barbecue sauce from Kroger. Kroger, if you see this video, holla at your boy. So I'm just gonna start slowly kind of going up and down here before I actually mix it in. I'm gonna use a whole bottle. Nothing to this recipe. Easiest thing you can ever make. Set it and forget it. All right, so we got all the barbecue sauce in the chicken. So now same thing, taking the tongs, gonna mix up the chicken here. Make sure every piece is coated. So we've gone ahead and coated all of the chicken with the barbecue sauce. Of course, like I said, it's still not done. So we're gonna put it back in the oven now so it can finish baking. Now note, before I said that, you know, this was kind of stuffed and I usually do half an hour uncovered and half an hour covered. So we are gonna put foil on the chicken, but I think I'm gonna leave it in for about 40 minutes this time, uh, just because I wanna make sure that it is done all the way through. So we take our foil, we're gonna wrap it down, and back in the oven it goes. Hey Google, set a timer for 40 minutes. All right, 40 minutes, and that's starting now. Damn right it is. Hey Google, stop. All right, so 40 minutes has passed. It's time to bring the chicken out the oven. So here we go. So no Johns, no BS right here. This is all for real. I don't know what it looks like under the foil yet, so let's check it out. Boy, let's go. Look at these juices that form from the chicken and the barbecue sauce together with the spices that we did. That is flavor. Oh, I think I got a fan. Zena, she doesn't like the camera. It's okay, mama. You like the chicken? You smell that, don't you? Oh, so cute. I love you. You just love my chicken, don't you? That chicken is cooked all the way through. And not only that, because when it's in the oven, these juices, you know, it starts boiling. So it's almost like you're boiling the chicken. Pull off this piece here and you can see it's all white. What I'm gonna do is kind of just push it down in the juices though. Put the foil back on. I'm gonna let it chill for about 10 to 15 minutes. So here we have the delicious barbecue chicken. Look at that, oh my lord. I'm serving it with my delicious potato salad. If you wanna learn how to make the potato salad, just click down in the description box below. I'll show you how to make that as well. So we're gonna take a bite of this chicken here. Mmm, delightful. Perfectly baked barbecue sauce. It's gonna be messy, so you need, you need a paper towel or something. It's finger licking good with the potato salad. Doesn't get better than that. I'm sweating, it's hot in here now. So that's how you make my super easy baked barbecue chicken. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you try it out, share it out with all your friends and family, and I hope that they enjoy it as well. If you are curious about everything that I use in the kitchen as far as my gear and my camera gear to make the videos, click the link in the description below. I have everything listed for you guys along with all my social media so you can go follow me there as well. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you click the bell so you're notified the next time that I post a video. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.